So, you know, I was just thinking I could probably become the greatest, maybe not advisor, but I could give the greatest tips on crypto here on YouTube. I know no one watching this channel, and if I could get 10 subscribers, I would be really happy. But I still believe I could give the best tips on crypto. And there's a simple reason for that. I'm like you. You know, other YouTubers, they invest 10,000, 20,000, 50,000, 100,000. They don't feel anything. They have money. They make money off YouTube. They, they don't struggle in life. But I know what it means to invest $500 in crypto, feeling the rush, the, the adrenaline rush, the faster heartbeat. There's not really different between investing 500 or 5,000. Because if you invest this amount, it means you don't have money. If you have money, you would be investing 100,000. But if you invest 500 or a few thousand, you don't have money. And if you invest 20,000, but you took a loan from the bank, you also don't have money. And it's even more stressful. So I know I know who you are. And you want to know tomorrow, what's next in crypto? How do I make money? Well, I don't know how you make money, but I'm sure can tell you how to not lose money. And I'm going to be back to this um, market cap dominance because it's really important. So I made the video a few days ago, how to predict the future uh, by learning the past. So we all bet in on the fact, me including, because I'm poor. So we all bet in on the fact that we are at the beginning of the cycle and we can ride the wave till the end of the year. Because that's how it was in 2017, remember? And back then, I hesitated all year. I was just seeing Bitcoin at 2000, Bitcoin at 4000. Oh no, oh no, can it go higher? It cannot go higher. And then I invested. November or December, I don't remember. I put maybe 500, maybe 1,000. I, I felt this adrenaline and, and, and I felt the sadness after. As I said, when you're poor, you feel sad when you lose money. When you're rich, you don't care. But when you're poor, oh, horrible feeling. So now we are at this crypto cycle and we feel, well, we are, we are here. I, I was talking just about this. So here was the beginning of the previous cycle. Was it Bitcoin went up here? So Bitcoin was going up last year here as well, just like here. Now Bitcoin still going up here, but also alts going up here, just like it happened beginning of 2017. And then sudden rise of altcoins. You can see Ethereum crazy, nearly reached Bitcoin. We have XRP. It was it, it had 17% of the of the market share. That that's that's insane. Like how how fast Bitcoin dominance declined. So the key is if it's gonna happen next two, three months, if the Bitcoin dominance start dropping suddenly and market cap is gonna grow, it means we are mirroring the the market cap, the previous uh, sorry, not market cap, the, the cycle. If it doesn't happen, I, I will be scared. So I will be keeping you updated if it happens the same or not. Because right now we should be in altcoin season and uh, we, we should see the decrease in the Bitcoin. So we saw actually dropped from 70% to 60 and now from 60 to 55. The drop is not as high, of course, because the Bitcoin is much bigger now. But also uh, what I want to say, how foolish it, it is actually betting on the fact it will be the same. So we, we bet, because, you know, if you invested $500 or even 5000 and you made 100x on, on 5000 then you, because not in Bitcoin, but let's say you invested in some altcoins because the alt, you, you believe the altcoin season will be as crazy as here. And you think you can do 100x and you count in and it will be like 500k, life-changing. You can buy a house, you can buy a second-hand car. You can take your girlfriend for nice dinner, your parents for holiday. It's like completely different experience. But it more likely is it's not going to happen. It's so difficult to catch your altcoins. And the main thing you want to do when investing in crypto, you need to protect your money. You don't want to lose. So while the more opportunities is in altcoins, if you, if you don't want to lose money, 
I understand there's many videos on YouTube telling jump into this altcoin, jump into this altcoin, into this one. What you should do, if you want to be careful, Bitcoin and Ethereum. And and see what is happening in the in the coming months. Maybe Ethereum will be better. It's not advice, of course, but you can see what happened if we are really at this point of the cycle. The most intense rise was in Ethereum back in the 2017. And you can see now, like, so also we had altcoins. So this time altcoins had already rise, which is mainly due to NFT. So these altcoins were like NFT projects. And Ethereum didn't have the rise. So if you want to test, let's say putting money in Ethereum and seeing if the next month Ethereum is going to have still more market share. If yes, it means we are mirroring the previous bull market. If not, we are in something different. So here I want to say the thing. It's really foolish to predict the the this year bull market based on the one event in the history because you need to know like everyone even even famous investor Ro Paul on the on the YouTube the, the guy from Real Vision Finance you know everyone are like it's exactly the same cycle everyone is so confident but the thing about investing not only in crypto but also in the stock market you know the the market doesn't care about your predictions and the feelings it's up. It doesn't know you exist. It doesn't know you invested. So the fact that you want it to be the same because that's how you planned it this year doesn't mean it will be the same. So it doesn't mean you can sleep now. Like, oh, I put my money. I'm not going to touch it till November or December or January because it will be the same. I, I think it might surprise us. And, and no one, like whoever you watch on YouTube, even me, despite the, the great tips I give, doesn't know what will happen with the with, with the crypto market. It it could go completely different from now. It could it it could actually stay at the same level, go up and down for, for next five years. No, nothing could happen. Bitcoin maybe will not crash, maybe it slowly go up, the altcoins will be crashing going up. We don't know. Who whoever say they, they know they predict that exactly is lying to you. There is no event in the history that someone can predict the market. Of course, buying like in Ethereum and Bitcoin and holding for 10 years is safer bet, but it's not it's it's not the prediction. So be careful here. No one can predict. Don't listen to, to people. And the fact like if you want to catch the train and look in the on YouTube for some altcoin peaks, you need to know that most of the altcoins will go to dust. So Take your own responsibility and be careful. They will not tell you this because they have money. But, you know, it's your $500 that you are going to invest. So um, it's like to add to my first video on predicting crypto market. I'm betting it will be the same for myself. So I'm, I'm taking the risk and I will be observing the next two months. And I think they, this will give me the clear vision what, what is going to happen. Uh, I will be checking every day what is, what, what's happening to the market, how it reacts, how Bitcoin acts, because this, this can give me the vision. And I will also see the, how engaged are the people. So recently there is few red flags. There is the, the guy called Brian Rose. And I saw that he ran in the ads about Bitcoin. And this is the red flag. So, this guy talking about big no good no good so with the stock market what i noticed that the stock market was crazy last year it was even better than crypto and uh, around december or, or january i re noticed my friends they they never really were in the in the stock market they're actually not very clever people um they just like even even when i talk to these friends they they have nothing to say and they suddenly start investing in the stock market. And to me, I, I knew it's the end. It, it, it was over. And, and since January, February, the, the stock is like not really doing very well. Not, nothing really happened there. It's actually going down. So when you see everyone talking about crypto, when your friends that never been, been in investing, like suddenly invest in crypto, 
you you should start taking out your profits so yeah i th i think i said everything i wanted to say so it's second video it's the line is horrible i i, I will make it better soon so um yeah let me know what's your strategy so i actually hate myself now i meant to record this in the one go and i forgot about one thing but so how will be the end of the of the crypto market and you might think you will know you will know when it will be the end you will not know this is insider game maybe not fully insider but when people these people who who are big in crypto they are here since last march they've been here they invested the money before you if you invest in now you making them money so when the market cap will go higher now it's at two trillion when they go to five trillion i don't know where it goes they will start withdrawing because they made a lot of profit you will not be very rich by then if you invest in now but they will see oh people keep putting money we better start taking money out and the withdrawals that will start happening then will be in billions and what it will cause it will cause very fast crash and the blockchain transactions will be there will be so many of them the transactions will be slower the exchanges will be crashing you will be unable to withdraw you will be saying to yourself it will recover it, it just correction and it will be the first level of denial that you will have unless you will get early when you do 2x is good you did 100 percent. don't be greedy if you'd make seven percent it's good so don't wait for 100x just get out early <laughs>